Hey, I'm John Greaves III. I'm the founder of Garage Gym Life. This is my wife, Naomi. And today, we're going to give you guys our review, more like her review, of the Squat Harness V3. Mm -hmm. All right, so Naomi, we got to check out the Squat Harness when we went over to Jason Rosenblatt, the inventor of the Squat Harness. We went to his house, we did a gym tour, and he demoed the Squat Harness for us. Mm -hmm. So before you ever put it on, what were your thoughts as you saw him taking it out of the package and just watching the demonstration? It was going to be interesting. I mean, there was a lot of loops and attachments is what it looked like. So coming buckles out. everywhere. And so this was going to be very interesting. But then when I saw him put it on, it's like him putting on like a, think of Mr. Rogers, it's like putting on a sweater or a jacket. I was like, it's like putting on a jacket. Yeah, yeah. putting on a jacket. And then when he went ahead and connected it to the functional trainer, I was like, okay, makes sense. It could, like the light went off. Okay. All right, so no problem with it. All right, so then we came home, and you've actually had a chance to use it yourself a couple mm -hmm. of times. Yes. So what are your thoughts now that you've actually had a chance to use it? Like, how does it fit, first of all? Well, as... Is it comfortable? It's comfortable. Like, I'm reattaching it again. Um, it's, like I said, it's very easy putting it on. It can be a little intimidating when you first take it out of the bag, but again... Once you look at it, it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I mean, there is a QR code. It does take you to their website, so that way you can be able to see, see the video, see right, the video yeah. and all that other stuff. So then the only thing I needed to do was make sure that, you know, I adjusted it and tightened it. So that way it felt secure and not too loose. The one thing I will say is when I went ahead to use it, I had to shorten up the, the attachments so that way it wasn't that far down. Um, oh, so you didn't have enough slack. So it had yeah. not too much slack. I got you. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And um, he showed, again... Um, There's a video. You guys can actually check out that video. And it shows J uh, Jason Rosenblatt, the inventor of this product. And he's demonstrating how to put it on and how to make the adjustments that Naomi's talking about. Because, yeah. I mean, I did take the D-ring and I did cl click it into the carabiner. Shorten it up. Um, and then actually used it. And it felt good. Okay. The thing that I was thinking about, like, as far as making it fit or adjusting it was, I was concerned that up here, that because it's going to be, the attachments are here in front, mm -hmm. I was concerned that up here was going to be pulling on you as you're going up and down in the squat, and that there would be some kind of friction, but you didn't have any problems with that, with chafing or anything? No chafing, no friction that way. Um, like I said, it's comfortable. I mean, right. it's uh, it's like having hands in a pocket, as you see, I'm just sitting here. The only thing I kind of wish it did is that you kind of move these like slide them over and it could just be the way it's sitting on on my body um but that way it's more centered like over the hip okay as opposed to it is kind of a little bit further up like in front of my pelvis instead of next to my hip bone right i think that could impact like your form which will cause you to kind of tilt forward a little bit yeah we we're talking about that because this was making you squat down on top of your legs a little bit more yes because of just where it is um that's if you're going ahead and using the functional trainer where you have them on the sides right now i did go ahead and try to put it together as in one okay. so it was in the middle okay. in the middle so it was kind of more like a goblet squat yeah. almost. um so it gave How me was that it gave me better range again um with you know being able to get into the proper form to a lower squat okay um and I was just curious to see if it was possible to do, and it is. Yeah. So, but that that's also could be a good thing because if it so if you're squatting down, you like more on top of your legs, then that's more of like a skier squat or a cyclist squat. And then if you're squatting down between your legs, then that's more of like a powerlifting or a weightlifting style squat. Mm -hmm. So you're basically working different parts of your legs and your glutes with just one tool. How did you feel as far as the versatility of it? Because it's not intended for just squats, it's supposed to be for uh, if you can't deadlift or just a number of other things. Well, I will say that, the you know, sometimes with using a barbell, you'll have that pain in the, like in the back of your neck or like in your shoulders. Um, there's no pain like that okay. because, again, it's it's balancing out the weight across your across your shoulders and into your back. Um, I mean, I got a chance to use it with like lunging moves and whatnot. It felt, it felt good. Okay. Um, wouldn't say anything nothing stuck out, stuck out for me to say that it was um like it was something was wrong okay like that so um so you don't have any cons it's i don't have any pros, cons. no cons no, except for the yeah. putting the thing on the side more yeah the okay um and again it's still relatively new i've used it a couple times um i will say and again i'll get to ch test it when i have to go on a business trip but uh, it is compact enough that you can take it with you 
Um, and, and that way you can take it with you on a business trip or a vacation. You can use it with bands. Yeah. Um, so you're still able to get that support with a workout. Right. Um, and again, or you can take it to like if you're, again, we prefer the home gym, but if you're traveling, sometimes yeah. you can get the hotel gym or sometimes you get a drop-in yeah. um, visit at a local gym. Um, and so this is another tool that you can can use. So yeah. um, it's still kicking, kicking a wheel, seeing how it goes. Nice. I mean, that's one of the things that I thought was an advantage with this as opposed to a belt squat machine or even like the belt squat attachments that you can put on a power rack. They're not portable. Whereas with this thing, you can actually still have the belt squat effect if you are going somewhere. You, let's say you just feel like working out outside. Mm -hmm. You can do that. You're not going to be able to pick up your whole belt squat and take it outside with you. So that, that portability... And the fact that it's very lightweight are the two things that jumped out to me and made me say this is a product that was worth us checking into. Yeah. All right, so we've heard your your initial impressions, your likes, your dislikes, gotten your reaction from working out with it. What is your final verdict on this product? Um, what I would say is definitely for this product, it's especially if you have someone that travels a lot for like business and whatnot, um, this is a great tool to have in your arsenal um, to take with you. Um, Again, if you're looking for a tool to just give you some versatility, in whether at home in your home gym, um, it's definitely worth a, a check out and buy. All right, so if you guys would like to check out the squat harness, we've got the link for you to check it out right here on the channel. And if you want to watch the video where Jason Rosenblatt is demonstrating the squat harness, that video is popping up as well. Additionally, if you watch this far, then that means you like our content. So if you like our content, please consider supporting us by checking out the shopping button that's right here on this video. It will not only show you the products that we use to shoot our videos, like the cameras and the mics that we use, but it'll also have a link to the Garage Gym Life merchandise that we wear that you guys see us wearing all of our videos. And if you click that button, it goes a long way towards helping us continue to make videos like this. Thanks for watching.